Hi, just wanted to share some software that I've been working on here um, for guard houses, for gated communities and such, uh, to make it quick and easy for uh, the guard at the gate to see who's allowed through the gate and log who comes and goes. And uh, if you've seen previous software, I did use my cookbook application that I wrote for my wife as a base for this, although this is a bit more complicated, there's a bit more forms in here. Um, but let's go ahead and have a quick look at this. So I filled in some fake information here. Uh, right now you can currently see that there are six residents in the database. I just made up fake information. Um, but let's go ahead and create a new resident. So I'm gonna go new resident and we'll say Thomas Pickle, we'll say is his name. And he lives at 868 River Turn Drive or Drive. Ah, there we go. And we'll say his phone number is 555 555 8585. Uh, and if you had a second phone, we could put that there. Other residents would be, um, let's say, uh, his wife or girlfriend or maybe some teenagers living at the house or if uh, he has a roommate. Um, let's go ahead and put somebody in there. We'll say that Thomas Pickle has a girlfriend and her name is Jennifer Smith. Sure. I already have a couple Smiths in the database, but we'll do that. Uh, actually, let's do something else. Let's do, uh, I'll make up a name. Jennifer Base. Oh, there we go. Now, guest. Sometimes at these gated neighborhoods, you have regular visitors, so you can put guests that are allowed in. The guard doesn't have to call and say, hey, so and so's here. If this person shows up, go ahead and let them through. And we'll just say, Frank Bonnie. Sure. And then comments can be any comments like, don't call after 10 p.m. That way, if anyone comes by 10 p.m., the guard's not supposed to call the house. So let's go ahead and we'll click Submit, and that's saved. We can still make some changes here if we want. But let's click on Home and go back to our database, our, our main list here. You can see currently there are seven residents in the database. Let's go ahead and look for our Thomas Pickle. Obviously right here you can see him already, but let's pretend there's a thousand people on this list. I can type in Pickle and there right away the guard goes, oh Thomas Pickle, let's say Frank Bonnie shows up. He goes, oh you're allowed in. I can go ahead, I don't have to call. I'll just let you right in. So I'll click on that and right away it brings up here, if you needed to call, you know, Thomas Pickle, there's the phone numbers up at the top there. And uh, if you have a um, hid device card reader, you can swipe their driver's license in this field and will automatically fill in their first name, last name, and address. But let me go ahead and type in Frank Bonnie here. And we'll say his address is 123. 12th Avenue, blah, blah, blah. I'll get his license plate number off his car and any comments that I want to put in there. I'll click Submit and he goes in. Again, if you swipe the, the driver's license, the only thing you really have to put in there is the tag number. So he's in and after a few seconds, goes back to the list view here because the next car will be driving up and I can start searching for them. And again, I can search as we did for a pickle, but if they come here and say, hey, I'm here to see Jennifer Bass, she shows up as well because she's an other resident in that house. But if I do Frank, you can see uh, that Frank Bonnie doesn't show up because it doesn't search visitors, just residents at this screen. Okay, now let's say a resident shows up and says, hey, I uh, just was wondering, who do you have logged that visited me recently? Let's say it's Thomas Pickle. I can click here on history and it brings me to this menu of history. I did it a slightly different color uh, just to so you don't get few confused on what screen you're at. And let's type in pickle and you can say, oh, um, let's see, Bonnie Frank visited at, you know, this date and time. Uh, his address is this, his tag is this, and he visited Thomas Pickle, which is what we just searched based on. I can also say, you know, if they, Thomas Pickle drives up and says, hey, has, um, Bonnie Frank, Frank Bonnie come through, you can type in Bonnie and it also searches that. So it searches both the visitor 
and the resident in the history view here. Okay, so now let's go back to the home screen. Let's say we'll just use Tom uh, Pickle, uh, Thomas Pickle. I just realized I named him Thomas Pickle. Isn't that funny? Like Tommy Pickles? Anyway, um, <laughs> type in Pickle here. That was completely subconscious that I did that. Uh, let's say Thomas Pickle calls because he bothers the guard at the gate a lot. So now he's calling and he's saying, hey, I'm expecting, um, or I want to change my phone number. I want to add a phone number. Uh, so if I'm not available, you can call this other phone number and get my girlfriend, Jennifer Base. So you go, okay, you click here, and then you can click anywhere up in this gray box, and it brings you to that user, to that resident, and you can modify any of the information. So now we can come in here and we can say, okay, if the first phone number is busy, call the second phone number, which is 555-555-5858. Submit and now if I go back home and I type in pickle you can click here and see the second phone number shows up So it's very simple to change the information that way now. Let's say uh, we'll use a different resident uh, a Resident at this case. I'll say um, now we get a phone call from Terry Klein you type in Klein Terry Klein says hey I'm expecting uh, the cable guy to come sometime between 10 a.m. And 10 p.m. Today because that's how cable guys roll you can click on Terry Klein here Click on here and go down to comments, which you can put anything in here, and they show up on the main search. So you can say, cable guy between 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. on whatever day they want. We'll say 2015, that's today. I'll click submit. It tells you that it has been entered. I can go back home now, and now Cable Guy shows up later on. Maybe there's a different guard on the gate, or he just forgot. Let me type in Klein. Oops. And he shows right here. Expecting a Cable Guy between 10 and 10 p.m. You can write other notes, you know. Um, don't call, just let them do it. Or let me know when they're here, or whatever. But here you know that he is expecting the Cable Guy. So you can come in here, you can check in the Cable Guy. When you're done, you can come in here, clear out the comment, click Submit and it's cleared out. So now we go back here and we can type in Klein and you can see that comment is now removed. So this is uh, an application I wrote uh, and pretty straightforward and simple to use. Again, works great on tablets and phones um, and all you need to do is you know set up a server to run it on which is very simple and easy to do and uh, I just thought I'd show the overview of this. Also, if we click up the top here where it says project page, it will bring you to the source code if you want to get this. It is up on my GitHub page, uh, username MetalX1000, it's called The Open Gate, and it is under an AGPL license. So I thank you for watching this video. Uh, maybe you'll find the software useful, maybe you'll want to add to it, and uh, I just hope that you have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.